personal development today is the national choir leader for us in the United States. Uh, so, but if we had said that time that because he had no knowledge of music, even though he's born again, his spirit field is uh, uh, everything, and we say, no, you cannot be part of it, today we'll be missing greatly in that aspect. So it depends on your environment, uh, but then somebody who doesn't know how to sing cannot just come and then just jump into singing, no. There must be time for training, for preparation, for evaluation, um, before a person like that can be allowed to start mounting the pulpit to sing. I'm not sure if that answers your question, brother. No, I can't. No response from. from, from me. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was muted. Uh, it it did answer my question, and like you said, right the there should be time for training. Uh, that's also like where I was going to, right? I don't normally see the time for training. Uh, it's like they just, they can just watch what the choir does. And then after maybe like two times of watching, they just join or something. But I, I guess that you clear. Okay, you uh, sorry, to save a lot of time, talk with <laughs> your choir leader or your pastor on the, because you can use what is happening just in your location to generalize to the whole world you understand thank you sir thank you sir so let's take four questions together to save time so please let's go straight to the questions very briefly without telling stories please so let's take Ima one day i'm taking four questions now at, at once Ima one day please omit to ask a person briefly please Actually, maybe just one or two more questions and then we'll wrap up our time is far spent okay thank you so we'll take two more Ima one day very quickly and then uh, and then maybe we'll go for a uh, brocadry very quickly uh, because of time. So we'll take two more. So please. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, please, I really love the presentation given by Sister Funke. And she spoke about the um, professionalism that you require in order to be active in this ministry. I want um, to show a, a sign of concern to those who I can call the forgotten ones. Please, there are some people that have this expertise. They know it all. Most of it that we are saying, talking about, they know it. But maybe one time or the other, they have been told to step aside because of one reason or the other, maybe best known to the person who told them to step aside. And since then, they have been forgotten. So I don't know with the way we can go about it in order to locate them again, though they, are, they, they might still be in the church, but they have been uh, told to step aside for a long time. So if they can be located and then invited again to be part of this move so that together we can get to where the Lord wants us to be. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we'll take the last question, then we'll, we'll answer together. So that's um, Borkadri, please unmute and ask a question. Okay, sir. I'm so happy, uh, so happy for this very platform. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I came in late somehow because I was kind of busy in a program. So I is there is something that has been bothering my heart and uh, now like we in this uh, kind of uh, location in this uh, area i'm speaking from a do state part of a do state how cheap precisely uh discovered that there are some uh, distresses code of 18 that we're talking about we don't really know the one that the pastor is talking about. Uh, we don't know, like, for instance, of recent, we begin to see this uh, choir singing, I mean, globally, singing with Akara. And uh, we are, you know, the church, you know, this, those kind of things are contagious. Uh, we are learning from what we see. Uh, uh, we, because we believe that GS is there. So, sir, we don't know 
whether this recent rebuke, we don't really know the aspect that the pastor is talking about. Uh, for instance, we here, uh, because of what we are seeing now, there was a Let's make the questions brief. We don't have time, please. Make it... uh, uh, so, sorry, please. sir. I just want to play. You know, in like in the past tense now, for, like for uh, Wedgie, for instance, the choir, you do sing, the, the sister do wear rapper and other, while the brother will put on English. But because of what we are seeing now, we not decided that, okay, let's every person put on native. So we don't know whether we are doing the right thing or not. So please, we want you to help us clear the air, or whether we are to go back to our normal English or the way we are doing it, sir, please. Sorry, sir. Yes, thank you for that. So I got in the note. Thank you, sir. Help us to take the two questions that um, Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. When, when things like this are coming, then I say, um, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to say that we should all relax ourselves. Um, this is not the first time we are getting corrected and we should not take it to the extreme. Uh, I said earlier on, we'll clarify things later and we'll get back to us. Uh, for now, let's go back to the status quo and do things it used to be. But I can tell you that the choir dresses um, is making our choir and our church to look brighter, uh, not looking uh, gloomy, not looking moody, uh, they are looking happier, and we thank God for that. And um, even the choir themselves are feeling happy, the church is feeling happy. But as to what to wear and what not to wear, when we get further clarification from our Father and the Lord, we'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, concerning the discipline people uh, that are sitting down right now, uh, if we get to know about them, uh, understand the leaders no more than the rest of us, and they see better than we do. And because they cannot be coming to the pulpit uh, to say, This is why this person has to sit down, uh, we still have to respect everybody, irrespective of what happened, even if somebody had committed immorality. Uh, we don't just destroy the person completely. We still have to find a way to handle things in such a way that the person will be able to come back uh, to the Lord uh, before thinking and talking about the work. I'm not saying it's all like that in all cases. It may be just simple insubordination. It may be simple lack of compliance. Um, we do not know. But if we do know uh, people like that, and they have been sitting down for a while, um, if there is anything, we, if we know about them, if there is anything we can do, we are not promising, but I believe other leaders will be able to listen to us and we'll work together, not because of choir ministry, but because of the source of the people, because discipline should be for the purpose of correction, not to destroy the lives of people and shouldn't be forever. So if we know people like that, we we'll try to talk with the leader to know what actually happened? Is there anything we can do? Uh, can we plead on, be, on behalf of the person? Understand, no matter how tough a dog may be, we cannot watch over people. And so, uh, by the grace of God, we we'll see what to do, and God will catch us. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Um, please, um, all questioners, please, we are, we are so sorry. We may have to take more questions because of time. So please, let's put our, our questions on the chat, and then to be collated and the questions will be looked into. So we'll go to the next item now, which is matter arising from the technical director. What to you, sir, Dr. Um, Albert. Thank you, sir. Thank you, um, Pastor Wally. Thank you, our daddy, the good choir uh, coordinating over We are blessed by your presence and